Hello everybody and welcome back to Bring Your Own Popcorn. So today we are back with another first time watching video and we're off to the cinema. Um, I'm really highly anticipating this movie. Um, I, I, I highly anticipate any film that comes out in this franchise because especially recently the films that have been coming out in this franchise have been on of very high quality. Um, and that is Creed 3, um, the, the ninth instalment, I believe, into the Rocky franchise. And I absolutely adore the Rocky franchise. It is one of my favourite film franchises of all time. Um, I would only say there's two bad ones in amongst the bunch. Um, that being, I'm not a big fan of Rocky 3, I have to admit. And also Rocky 5 um, isn't great. But the rest of them, I think, are fantastic. Um... And I've been really enjoying these Creed films coming out. Um, I, I always kind of... Because I, I feel like we're in a... In, in terms of cinema, we're in kind of a nostalgia age of cinema. Um, and I feel like Creed was the one that kick-started that. Like, coming back um, and and seeing all these, these characters from the 80s and the 90s, but in modern day... I feel like Creed was the first one to kind of kickstart that. And then Cobra Kai jumped on the bandwagon. Ghostbusters has jumped on the bandwagon. Screams jumped on the bandwagon. You know, so many different franchises. I feel like it all kickstarted with Creed. And to be fair, I've I've loved Creed and Creed 2. Um, I slightly prefer Creed 2. It just told a much more interesting story, in my opinion. Um, and it dealt with some really... That, that is one thing that I, I love about the Rocky franchise um, throughout is it deals with really serious themes. Whilst being a, a boxing film, I guess, it isn't really about the boxing. It's more about life. Um, even going back to like Rocky 1, you, you, you watch that film and you see how much, how seldom there is boxing in that film. There isn't a lot. Um... Obviously, with Rocky Four and stuff, like, that is just a full-on boxing film. Um, but then coming on to Rocky Balboa, which is my favourite in the franchise, um, again, it, there's little boxing in it. Um, it is more about just Rocky's life, and now we're into Creed's life, and I love how they're carrying on by telling serious themes um, whilst also being a really fun um, film. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um... It's been up there, ever since I heard about it, it's been up there in my highly anticipated films. I know Stallone's not in this one, it'll be the first Rocky film not to feature Rocky. Um, and I heard he's not personally a fan of where they're taking this film. But I've heard that it's very good, the reviews have been coming in, they've been great. Um, so yeah, I'm just ready to sit back and chill out and watch Creed 3. So we're going to get in the car, we're going to head to the cinema and uh, you'll see us on the journey there. Okay, so Creed 3, um, whilst I was ex extremely excited for this one, I was a bit nervous because as I said, um, Stallone wasn't happy with the way uh, the producer, is it Irvin Winkler, I'm pretty sure his name is, and um, Michael B. Jordan were taking the film. He says it was going down too dark a, a route for him, um, so he decided to check out and... Whilst I was still excited, I was obviously nervous because it never had Stallone's seal of approval. And I can't see what Stallone's moaning about. This film was absolutely incredible. It's not just my favourite of the Creed films so far. It's actually my third favourite in the Rocky franchise overall. It was insanely good. Um, 
let's start by talking about Michael B. Jordan's direction um, because it was his directorial debut, um, which is insane. He directs with such competence that it feels like he's been directing for years. Um, you would if you if you showed me this film and asked me, do you think this was the director's first film? I'd go no way, no way at all. Um, it is far too competently directed. Um, to be his first film. Um, what a start to his filmography. I'm so excited to see what he does next because obviously he's going to direct more. Um, if he's got an interest in it, he'll, he'll keep doing it. And I think his direction was spot on. The fight scenes are probably filmed the best in the entire franchise. They're filmed so well. The cinematography is spot on. I love every single aspect uh, of the direction of this film. I actually think it's probably the best directed in the franchise. Um, Michael B. Jordan, I commend you. It is incredible direction you've given here. Um, in terms of the story, it was it was really good. It was familiar, um, definitely. You know what you're getting into when you go into a Creed or Rocky film. Um, it is a similar storyline over and over again. Um, but what I really like with this one is they have took it to a darker place. Um, and I think that is totally fine. I think it was actually needed. Um, I love how they delve into Creed, Creed's backstory um, a lot more with this one um, and it feels extremely realistic um, and extremely, uh, like, it is dark. It, it takes it to a dark place but a very real place um, and I just, I loved everything they basically did with the story here. Um, as I said, it maybe is a bit predictable, um, but I don't care. I had an absolute blast with it. I was worried that without Rocky being in it, the f the story would lack a little. But honestly, I didn't miss him. <laughs> it was actually quite nice to give Creed the the kind of the spotlight in this film um, instead of almost being a bit in Stallone's shadow. It was nice to see him put front and center. Um, which yeah, it it was really nice. Um, yeah, I just I, I totally I totally loved the story. Um, I I love basically everything they did with it. Um, there were some great written twists and turns in this film. Um, that I thought were really cleverly written. Um, especially for a Rocky film. So yeah, great story. And um, in terms of performances, once again. They're all pretty pretty incredible. Um, I would say this is definitely Michael B. Jordan's best performance as Creed. Um, I think he gives a fantastic performance. Um, the, the film needs him to give a much more emotional uh, performance uh, this time around, and he delivers. He so delivers. He gives an incredible performance. Um, and also, Jonathan Majors uh, stole the show, in my opinion, in this film. He was insanely good as the the antagonist, and honestly, he goes down as probably one of the best villains in a Rocky franchise, um, in a Rocky franchise, in a Rocky film. Um, he is really, really well written. I love when you see a humane side to villains and they're not just this diabolical psychopath. Um, I love when you see a, an actual humanity side to them, um, and in this film, you definitely see that with Jonathan Majors. He plays the character pitch perfect, he understood what he was doing, um, yeah, and all the supporting cast are great, Tessa Thompson is fantastic, um, the, the woman who plays Creed's mother, I can't quite remember her name right now, but she's great, yep, the, all the supporting cast are fantastic, um, so yeah, very high praise for this film, what are the drawbacks, um, first I'm going to give a, a really big nitpick, and that is the sound in this film was a bit odd um a lot of the talking scenes were very quiet and then a lot of the, the scenes where music were playing were very loud i would have preferred if this was a bit more consistently kind of in the middle of those two volumes um because sometimes you were straining to hear what the characters were saying and then you get like blasted with music um so yeah i, I do think the sound mixing could have been a little better but that is totally a nitpick um there is so as i said that i didn't miss Stallone from this film too much um but honestly there was one scene and I'm not going to get into it because spoilers but there was one scene in particular in this film where it almost felt wrong not having him in it it felt almost a disservice to the character and I would honestly have just preferred 
I, I, I totally get that he didn't want to be in the film, but even just a name drop, like, oh, when Rocky was there, something like that, um, Rocky just said to me, something like that, you know what I mean? Just to show that he was at this specific place um, when this event took place, um, even if you didn't see him, see him, just a name drop that he was present would have been so much better. And I, I do feel almost a bit sad that, and it, it's so out with his character um, that he wasn't at this event. That was probably my biggest drawback of the film. That scene, um, I'm not going to get into it because of spoilers, um, but yeah, that, that whole scene was probably the the only time I was like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of what they're doing here. Um, but overall, I thought this film was pretty damn fantastic. It had incredible direction, uh, the best filmed fight scenes in the full franchise. Um, a, a great story, yes, maybe a little bit predictable, but you know what you're getting into with any of the Rocky films. Um, I just love how every one of the Rocky films, a lot of people think, oh, it's going to be a boxing movie. And whilst technically you're right, I love how they deal with real world issues. Like, for example, Tessa Thompson's uh, hard of hearingness um, and his his daughter is deaf. Like, they deal with like real world issues really well. And there's actually a great dramatic story behind it. It's not just like, every five minutes another boxing match like it's 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 not like that it's got such a beautiful story behind it and a lot of people don't understand that um they just think oh it's some dumb boxing film it's not it's got each one of them have a, a great story behind it um bar five <laughs> um bar rocky five um but yeah i absolutely love this film um as i said it's my third favorite in the franchise overall now um, and I'm actually going to do a ranking of the Rocky and Creed films on my channel very soon. Um, but I would give this film a 9 out of 10. Yes, I absolutely loved it. Um, so thank you guys for watching this review. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.